The net zero measures in London to control air quality and movement of people have massively backfired as labor authorities have now been forced to apologize for lying to the public. As predicted, we knew this day would come. It didn't last that long for a certain uh, authorities, uh, especially Islington. We're going to talk about Islington Council and, and City Khan's London in general to actually realize that they messed up a little bit. Now, it doesn't really mean that they're going to make an ex extreme U-turn when it comes to their net zero measures. Now, so in London, for example, or the rest of the country as well, there are certain measures. One of them is LTN, Low Traffic Neighbourhoods. Uh, which uh, they will be controlling um, the different zones and areas. They will be blocking the roads, for example. We're going to talk about that in a, sec in a second. Islington um, Press, uh, obviously they were briefed by the local authorities, uh, saying that, well, pollution studies now find that new traffic measures are reducing toxic fumes. We are winning. The low traffic neighborhoods are working, which means we can now move forward with our plans to create 15-minute cities which is the next level. And of course, City Khan also has his own ULES scheme, the ultra low emission zones. It's working. And then we found out it's not working. And Islington had to be forced to apologize. So these signs you might have seen, uh, depending on where you live in the UK, especially in urban areas, you can see like road closed. They just put some random stuff in the middle of the road uh, to control the traffic. And the idea was to control air pollution. And free and the movement of people, but in reality, it's actually created more traffic and more pollution. The, uh, the Islington Council's own report showed that pollution had risen 26% across Highbury and uh, leading residents uh, lodging a formal complaint against the authority. Uh, NO2 levels had soared by 44% outside Highbury Grove School for obvious reason because obviously there's a school there. And now this whole thing is causing a lot of trouble. So Sadiq Khan's obsession with the ULES, local authorities' obsession with the LTNs, the low uh, traffic neighborhoods, is going to be exposing the biggest hypocrisy of these idiots who say we are doing it in the name of the environment. But you're not really helping the environment either. Now, let's be objective. A lot of these local authorities are run by council, uh, labor councils and labor politicians. But... These ideas, let's be truthful, have been championed by the central government, by Tory politicians like Grant Shapps. Grant Shapps called it the Green Transport Revolution. He was proud to introduce it. So now they're blaming, obviously, the Labour authorities, but they did it first. They introduced it, and now they wonder what's going on. So now we have this situation where this headline from October 2020, Grant Shapps says, green roads revolution used by councils as cash cow as borrowers issues 500,000 pounds of fines in one street you can see in the photo below that's what they do they block the roads with those nonsensical stuff and if you go through it you get fined literally it's, it's just a, a cash cow scheme it's just to increase a revenue for politicians and authorities it's just everything everything else is a lie because nothing else is happening. They're not helping the environment. They're not helping congestions or traffic zones. No, absolutely not. They're restriction and they're restricting your movement. They're taking your money and they're polluting the air. So <laughs> it's lose, lose, lose. And that's the uh, problem that we are currently facing. But it's good to make these videos. It's good to talk about these things because again, the majority of the mainstream media are still behind us. Uh, they're not even discussing or having proper debates about the problems of LTNs or ULES or 15 minute cities or any, anything else that they're going to come up with next time round if they go to Davos. Let me know what you think. Am I a TC and we are the media.